If you've been putting off making a change in your life or starting a new creative project because it doesn't feel like the right time, I want you to know that contemplating making these changes is a great start, but also that the right time doesn't exist. A new idea or goal can feel daunting and overwhelming to start working on, and you've made a necessary first step by thinking about it. And I hope to bring home a point that will help you feel more confident in turning your contemplation into action. Instead of believing that you should wait for a better time to begin the change, begin now. The right time is just never going to arrive. There's always going to be something on your calendar, or not enough money, or bad weather, or whatever it is. If you think you need the picture-perfect circumstances to make a change, you're not setting yourself up for long-term success. It basically means that you're heavily relying on these circumstances to be successful. And with that mindset, something will inevitably pop up that will cause you to procrastinate even more. And with that said, here's how to overcome right time thinking. It all starts with what I just mentioned, your mindset. If you're trying to achieve a long-term goal, you have to get comfortable with the fact that some days you may fail to work on a YouTube video or send out some cold emails or batch edit some photos. It could be anything and that's okay. You have to commit to take perfect out of the equation. And once you take away perfection and replace it with persistence, that'll mean if you miss the mark one day, you just get right back at it the next day. And that's when your compounding growth will begin. It's persistence that's going to get you where you want to go and beyond. Just remember to trust your creative process and stop waiting for the right time. My name is Tariq, and my main goal with this YouTube channel is to provide as much value as possible in the creative space. If that's something that appeals to you and you'd like to join me on this YouTube journey, consider subscribing and comment on what you'd like to see next. I'm an open book. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time.